We looked previously at setting up a deferral template. Now let's look at using one in a purchase order invoice. Uh, so we'll need to create our purchase invoice first. Um, I have one that I've created and specified to a random vendor. We're using London Postmaster here. And I've specified a vendor invoice number. We'll need to specify our lines next. So for the lines, we'll enter a GL account for consultant services. So in this example, we're paying for consultant services over a 12 month period, but we're marking the amount down now um, as the 10,000 uh, pounds. The deferral code field is something we'll need to specify in order to defer this amount. Um, and we'll be looking to defer this amount over a 12 month period, which I can select from our existing list of deferral codes, specifically the one that we set up earlier. The deferral template, uh, rather the deferral code field isn't immediately visible. Um, so you may need to go to the personalized function at the top here in order to pull the field through onto the lines. Now, if we post this invoice, Business Central will defer the £10,000 over the 12 month period uh, that we're looking at. Before we post this though, we may want to review the potential posting. And we can do this by selecting our line on the lines and going to more options, line, related information, deferral schedule. And we, from here we can see how Business Central intends to defer the amount over the 12 month schedule. You can scroll through and see all of that there. We can also make changes using this screen. We can adjust the amounts that we intend to defer. We can adjust the dates as well. And if we would like to, we can check on other calculation methods to see how they would impact the deferral schedule too. So if I go from straight line to, for example, equal per period, I can then go to more options, actions, actions again and calculate schedule and it will update the value of each of these deferral periods to match what we were looking to do. I'll put this back to straight line for now and re-update our schedule. The options also available here. So we have our deferral schedule set up in straight line calculation method. We can also look at making use of the preview posting function to see what the postings themselves will look like to each individual account that's involved. To do this, we can go to posting and preview posting, which will test post the uh, invoice. And we can see that there are a number of entries that have been created, specifically the 31 GL entries that are here. And we can drill into these projected changes to view what the posting will look like. Uh, if I just scroll across a bit or even just make this bigger, we can see the amounts and we can be comfortable with the changes that are being made. And when we are comfortable with the changes that are being made and we're happy to move forwards, we can then go to posting and go ahead and post the purchase invoice. And there we are. That's all done and the postings have been made. The deferral has been uh, enacted and we're all good to move forwards.